Hello citizens and welcome to another Star Citizen video here on Bus Vision. Today we bring you the newest intel from our first steps into the free 17.2 PTU patch. Besides not yet having seen everything the new patches in store for us, we can present you quite some interesting features coming with this patch. Since the PTU wave dropped very recently, we did not manage to get the new derelict sites yet, but let me tell you, there's a lot going on with this update. Let's start with the caterpillar in the room, network and desync improvements. As someone with a potato-ish setup for playing, I was amazed how smooth the gameplay was despite being on a full server. Entity movement from enemy soldiers to ships and even missiles has improved so much it was quite a delight to play. Over are the days of enemies and other players flipping around the screen, which has not only a big impact on the immersion, but also ship-to-ship -ship combat and FPS gameplay. No jittery animations, no flicking around of enemy ships. This iteration of Star Citizen features the best performance experience I have seen so far. And if you think that's all, think again. We are also presented with a new trading interface, which works a lot better, features the ability to buy food and drinks in bulk, and even a search filter, which makes buying stuff quite the enjoyment. To pay for all those filtered items, the new patch also includes a lot of new missions from the start. Some of you may for example know the research missions, which tasks you with the pickup and deployment of scanning beacons that were available at certain locations. These seem to be available all around Stanton now, which is nice. We also saw the new Lawless Delivery mission worth 70,000 credits in the first run for the Daring Pilot in Stanton. More investigation missions and rescue beacons that are not only better categorized by difficulty, but are now paid per minute, which I liked quite much. Like I said, I sadly wasn't able to get to one of the new derelict missions yet, but I will get you some footage of those in the near future. Another interesting new feature for the bunker busters out there is a small marker showing you allied NPCs, soldiers and security forces to prevent you from shooting down friendlies in the heat of battle. Nice! Space stations got a nice update too, with small hangars being added to the stations and the stations having grown in size and style a lot. And don't worry, the ATC guy is still a dick. You might say, what's the deal with 6 or 7 stations we had being reworked, but BAM! Stanton now features more Lagrange points overall. Not only that, but the points are now divided into different zones, with a Lagrange point now featuring an A, B and C sector and, like I said, new stations to shop and refuel. All of this already sounds very nice, so I close this video with some subjective observations I made. Crash recovery working like intended, even after having three loading screens crash on me, elevators now seem to be a lot faster than before, and the overall visibility of Stanton and planetside objects has improved. Guys, if this is what we can expect from patches from now on, I see a new golden age coming for Star Citizen. I am hyped like a kid for Luminaria, and with that said, I will end this video and jump back into the PTU to see what else I can find. If you like this video, you might want to transmit a like or even a subscribe. We recently hit the 500 subscriber milestone and are eager to grow our channel further. This has been JFK for Buzz Vision, and I see you in the verse.